sorry about the background noise. I'm in the car right now. Um, just got it started so that get the day started. So, um, just wanted to go ahead and get this made. It's still early in the morning. It's, uh, well, for me, to me it feels early. I'm not used to getting up before like 10 o'clock. So, that's about to change though. Boot cam's gonna change that real well. So, but it's 821 right now. I'm still rather tired. Um, yeah. So, and I've been up since 7.30. Anyways, um, so start off with Happy New Year. If you guys didn't already, haven't already said that, which I'm pretty sure I said in yesterday's video, but just in case, you know, Happy New Year, can't say it enough times. It's New Year, time for a good, fresh start. Um, and with that said, this is part of what this video is about. Um, I want to... Sorry, I want to start this video off by saying that um, I'm going to make this more of kind of a vlog overall, but I do want to start this video off with saying about, um, you know, there's been a lot of things I've kind of created. I've made a lot of problems for people in the last year, a couple years, whatever, but more so in the last year, there's been things that have gone on, I'm not really going to go into detail, because there's no reason to really go into detail, and I tried to message a few people, um, but then I decided, I'm sure some of them watch the channel, and I know kind of who does and who doesn't estimate it, but just wanted to make an overall apology for any problems I've created, kind of making some people's lives more difficult than, it, than they should have been. And I just want to, it's not so much like I'm trying to fix what happened, I just want to kind of make peace with whatever has happened in the last year, whatever problems I've created. Sorry, I'm kind of cold, so I'm shivering. But anyways, I just don't, I kind of want to uh, make peace and move on from those things. I don't want to keep dwelling on things that I, that caused problems, things that I made wrong, or things that I didn't help a situation that could have been way better so and that's just kind of what I want to start off by saying so I do apologize for any situations that I may have caused anything like that it's a new year I'm trying to be better myself I haven't been the best I can be so that's what I'm trying to do this year is be as good of be the best version of me that I can be or at least that's my goal is to be the best version of me I can be and start working to that so, and any problems created, I don't care who it is, um, whatever it was, and just throughout my whole life, um, doesn't just have to be the last year, but I want to apologize for anything I've created, any problems, like, I know elementary school for me was a rough time, I created probably more problems than necessary, so, but I do want to apologize for any problems I did create, and just, you I don't need any responses to that or anything. It's just I'm making a full-on apology to whatever I may have created. And if there were no problems, then, you know, that's great. But anything that did happen, I just feel um, that I should make peace with it and try to move on. And if uh, something comes of it and you guys want to... Whoever I've had problems with want to start try again, that's fine. We can be friends, whatever. Forget, forgive and forget, or whatever. But I just don't really care. I just kind of want to move on from whatever's happened. Um, whatever things that did go on, any problems, whatever. I just want to make peace with it and move on. And start striving to be the be best I can be. So... Um, yeah, so that's just how I'm going to start the video for now. Um, but yeah, today's going to be a great day. Um, again, it's still trying to get things ready. Um, I'm still not completely, I still don't have everything in order yet to go to boot camp. So hopefully that'll be today. Um, I still do have my Ford Fusion. And I'm hoping I'll be getting rid of that by the end of today. We'll find out. Um, the goal is to get a couple things fixed on it before as um, I tried to sell it to CarMax, and maybe I'll do a video on that, um, but I did, excuse me, I made an attempt to sell it to them, but they offered quite a bit lower than I was expecting this time, because they're going through a lot of changes. Um, 
and then um, I'm gonna I am gonna take it to Ford do a Ford dealership today see what they'll do it'll probably be the same dealership I buy, buy my Mustang from or maybe I'm not sure if that's what I'm gonna buy but in the event I do that'll be what it where I'll buy it we'll see what happens um, that's my goal for the first car it may not be a um, Yeah, so that's just going to be today. Um, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, it, my goal again, as I posted yesterday, for those of you who have me on social media, was hopefully to have it posted by 1700, 5 p.m. tonight. And that's Mountain Standard Time. If it's not, it's probably something internet issues or something. So hopefully this will be up by then. Um, yeah, I'll just kind of walk you through what I'm doing to get ready, get prepared for boot camp right now. I leave Monday. That's in four days, about 15 hours, depending on what time. Um, so yeah, um, that's pretty much right at midnight. But yeah, just about four and a half days, I'll be heading off to boot camp. So maybe five days by the time I actually arrive. But. Um, that stuff I'm not going to be able to really film, do a whole lot with, but once I get back, I will do a whole update video. So make sure you guys subscribe down below. Make sure you guys hit the bell icon so you're not missing the update for when I get back. Um, so that that way, when I post that video, you guys will get updated. You'll get a notification saying, hey, post the video. Come check it out. So, um, and if you're not already following my social media, you can follow me on Snapchat. M-A-R-V-E-L-S-M-7-7 or you can go to my Instagram daily underscore exotics 7326 um, right, currently the picture on it is a blue McLaren MP412C um, yeah there's going to be some fun things today I think it's going to be some fun, some boring but yeah there might be some really fun part. Um, I'm not sure. I'm going to see how it goes. But yeah, so stay tuned. Um, make sure you watch. Um, keep Stay tuned. Keep watching. It'll be a great... There's something that... It's, it's a car on my list. It's not going to be purchased today. I'll give you that much. But there is something happening with the car. Hopefully. I'm not sure that that's going to pass through today. But I'm hoping it will. Um, you guys will find out and if you know what my favorite car is comment that down below or take a guess and also comment what your guys' favorite car is so um, Yeah, stay tuned and I'll see you guys in a bit See already y'all what's good. Sorry about the wind noise. I'm walking up to my driveway. So the wind noise will kind of go away um, by the, I'm gonna be getting this video put together pretty soon um, Pretty much everything's ready to go um, I did just want to kind of put out there kind of what ended up happening. So here's kind of what went on. Um, so I'm obviously at this point, you know, I was at McLaren. Okay. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. Get, I just got home, rather. But duh. so you know, I've been at McLaren. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up putting whatever clips I have from McLaren in. Right after this, this is kind of just an insert, and then I'll explain afterwards exactly what happened. So after the clip, right after this, um, I'll insert the other part, which is going to be explaining everything that just went on. So, um, get ready. So, alrighty, I'll um, see you after this clip. Alright y'all, so I'm at the location. Um, this should be the exciting part of the video. We'll see. I'm not going to give too much hint as to where it is, but until you find out what's going to happen here pretty soon. So, anyways, um, I'll give you a quick hint. NASA Martin, a Lamborghini Urus, and things like that. So just, we'll see what happens. See you in a bit. Okay, so here's your hint, guys. See that? Don't time shift. I will. Military service flight. Yep. So it is time to take a ride. Eventually, I will find that handle. There we go. Thought that was it. Thought it was. 
was on the handle. Is it closed? Yeah, it's got soft closed doors. Yeah, I wasn't sure. We needed to boost up some battery life anyway. So typically, normally, usually, cool driving surface. Yep. Tires are cool. Yep. Ideally, tires need to be 110 to 120, okay. and then they become a bit gluey. Yep. And the driving surface, which we can't really do a whole lot about, yeah. ideally, 90 to 100. So when we're in the middle of our summer, we do our track events and things like that. Yep. And those criteria are met.
activity, maintaining a parallel connection. Fully do the operation on that. Do you um, know any 
associated costs? I have no clue yet. I would have to find that out when I got to the school, more or less, so. I imagine there's probably going to be some cost to it, though. Definitely in free, I'm sure. Yeah, and you got to wonder what the military benefits would be. Yeah. Um, and I know with um, what I'm doing with them, I'm probably going to have to redo enrollment just because I was supposed to actually leave December 16th for the school, but I was in process with the military, so I put that on hold, and I'll re-probably enroll with the, his military personnel instead. And then I'll probably try to apply here at the Clarity Dam for after I get done with the school. So, let's see what happens. So what's going on? So um, to explain the last little bit of the video, um, I had a little bit different plans for the video and things, but you know, that's all right. Um, it, I forgot that things were a little bit different. I didn't kind of plan as much as I should have for it. But um, anyways, I was just obviously at McLaren. So anyways, what ended up happening there, you could probably figure that out based on a lot of the hints I gave. If you're on my social media, then you know what my hints were. Um, I was at McLaren and um, my mom was one person who was able to get a chance to take a ride to McLaren. A 720S, she got that a few months ago. Um, I'll try to insert a clip of that if I can find it and um so you guys can kind of see what happened there um it'll be from the exterior of the vehicle there where what happened today uh mostly because i'm shipping to boot camp monday i got the opportunity today to take a ride in a mclaren 720s and like i've loved cars like the Hellcat, the ferrari lamborghini i mean i've always loved mclaren since i found out about them but to be able to ride in one is a whole different story. It's completely different when you ride in it versus kind of what you know. And you you can probably see that in the video. Like it was, they're just so amazing. It's very hard to even talk when you're on the, when it's on the power. So it was just, I don't know. I'm, it's so hard to describe when you've actually ridden in one. Um, so I've talked a lot about cars I want, and you guys will find that there's going to be McLarens to come. Um, I'm going to make sure that's my number one goal. If I can get a McLaren, then we're, you're going to see that. Um, it's just such an awesome experience. I don't even know how to describe it. Um, oh, it's... The whole time you're riding in it, you just can't stop smiling. So, I mean, it was maybe a 15-minute ride, I'd say. Fifth, it doesn't even take 15 minutes to convert. Um, I've heard nothing but stories. I know a lot of the people at McLaren in Denver. I know the owner, Mike Ward himself. And a big thanks to those guys out there. They're just awesome. I've had nothing but great experiences there. And I'm looking forward to in the future doing business with them. And it's just such an awesome place. I've heard stories where they, I mean, they've taken people, Lamborghini, even Ferrari enthusiasts, just love those cars, with passion. And not even barely into a test drive and they're like why did i even buy this car they basically can, can convert them in just a test drive to a mclaren and i can see why 
Um, if you ever have the opportunity, that is an opportunity that if you're given the chance to take a test drive, even if it's just ri a ride along in the passenger seat like I was in today, don't pass it up. You will, n I guarantee you will not regret taking a ride in one. So it's definitely changed where I'm looking at dream cars. Um, any of the cars I want has definitely changed. It's just such an awesome experience that it's, they are one car that is well worth their price tag. I know it's more expensive, but by a long ways, but they are well, well worth it. So anyways, that's just kind of, I don't need, it's, pretty much a speechless thing it's very hard to describe it but that's kind of how it was so um i hope you guys enjoy the video um kind of enjoy the experience i want to share that with you guys so um make sure to like comment subscribe down below any comments you have and um there won't be many more posts for the next few days just because i've got a lot to do and i've got a lot still to do with the military before i ship so um probably won't post until i get back anyways though if i don't post until i get back then i'll see you all in three months bye guys Somewhat conservative. Somewhat. That <laughs> one scared you right now. Don't want her to have a heart attack. We'll do a couple of minor, modest, controlled bursts. <laughs> Sounds good.